So we're mounted on top of the guy, right? We're sitting on his hip. Remember, it's a couple different mounts, but this is the one where you can just be relaxed, nice and sitting on his hip. We're gonna go to a high mount, but we'll talk about that in a second. So first things first, when I get to this position, I always wanna kinda start to want to make sure I maintain the position by having my hands on the ground. It's harder to maintain a position if I'm sitting up straight. Anytime he moves his hips or buck, I'm gonna have to naturally act, I'm gonna lose the position. So a lot of times I need more base, right? So more points on the ground. So I put my hands out. I like to tell you guys, like an airplane, like a big airplane, we tell the kids sometimes, right? You wanna be like an airplane. Don't want your hands too close. But with that being said, you wanna be kissing your partner. So I don't wanna be too far apart, right? Cause I'm not gonna have the advantage uh, in that position either. So my hands are about a 45. So I'm gonna start here. When I'm ready to attack sitting on his hips, okay? I'm gonna take one hand and place it in the collar. It is a very basic attack or very basic series, but once you become good at it, good at it all right, it can be very deadly. All right? I use it all the time now as a black belt. Um, not so much when I was like a purple brown belt. Okay, but now I've come back to this position because I understand how to maintain it and how to apply the right pressure um, to, to my opponent. So we gotta make sure we're practicing it, especially a white belt. So I go first hand in. So I, I bring my hand up. I open the collar, get in the habit of opening the collar. Could I put my hand in here? Yes, of course, right? I want to get in the habit of opening the collar to put tension on the collar, slide my hand in four fingers deep, okay? So four fingers in, and reaching as deep as I can like I'm trying to grab the back of the collar, all right? Now we'll do the very first choke, really, really simple, okay? The first choke, choke number one, is over the top. When I do go over the top, I do like a karate chop. So I go palm in, first hand, I reach, not go around, right here, right direct, boom, like a karate chop right to the neck, okay? From here, I'm gonna grab the material with my fingers, right? So I grab it, claw in with my fingers here. I don't stick my thumb inside. From there, my head is gonna follow my top hand. So my left hand's on top, so I want my head to come down to that side. As I do this, I'm being mindful of my legs. Start bringing them in, drop down, and my partner taps. The motion is here. We have this grip. My chest comes out as I pull my elbows back, okay? I am not extending my elbows out. Okay, that's not how we're getting a choke. So one in, karate chop. See, I was here. I didn't go like this, make it nice and big. I went here, karate chop, grab. Okay, from here, head follows the top hand. My legs start to go back to maintain my base. My head goes down, and right there, I just relax. Okay, when you guys are applying the choke, as you start to pull, you're starting to pull the choke in. Um, don't, uh, what we call milking the choke. So as I start to pull, I'm not getting that instant gratification like you will with the arm lock or something like that. You start to kind of relax your hand and start to try to uh, readjust your grip. Be confident in your grip. Get deep as you can the first hand. Karate chop right next to the neck, right? Grab, be confident in that choke. Bring your head down and pull your elbows back. Do not bring your elbows out. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So everything starts the same with the first one, right? In this particular mount, we're sitting on the hip, so it's our uh, neutral mount, if you will. Open the collar again, I get my first hand as deep as I can inside his collar, okay? Now, in this instance, instead of going over, I'm gonna come under, right? Instead of going over, I come under. And people sometimes say, like, why would you go over instead of under, right? Normally what's gonna happen is the person starts to defend, right? This is the quickest choke, right? But it's a little bit uh, less secure than the second choke. But you get that a lot quicker, so people go to that choke. Myself, personally, I go to that choke all the time because I'm confident in my grips, okay? As you start to train more, you know, you get a strong grip, you start feeling confident. But sometimes when I go here, I go for the first choke, okay? When I go over to get the second choke, he defends here. He says his hand comes out to defend, okay? So here, watch what I'm gonna do. The knee that's on the same side that he's blocking with, okay? I lift up and I drop down, pinning his arm. From there, now my hand goes under, and I slide it in to get the more secure choke. From here, I'm gonna take my knee off, and now my head follows my top hand again. My legs go back, my head follows my top hand, we execute the choke, okay? So I go one, I was gonna do my fast one. He starts blocking it, right, giving me trouble. Lift my knee, pin him. Go under now to grab number two. Four fingers in again. From here, could I bring my head down? Absolutely. Once you guys get good at the technique, you can do it a bunch of different ways. You know, start making it your own. But for right now, let's bring our leg back. Let's go back to our base. Head follow the top hand. I was keeping base, being mindful of my position. Boom, I stick my hand in one. All right, so I get a good tight grip the first time. Now, last time I went over top, the guy blocked, and I went, uh, all right? 
sometimes, right, when I go to block, I'm here, I barely touch him. When I go under, he blocks under too. That becomes a block under. That same leg, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just stop him real for a second to pin him. And then we take the hand out and go to the karate <coughs> chop. We have the karate chop, head goes down, and we choke, okay? We can also use that as a setup, okay? When knowing that I feel comfortable in my position, I get one hand in, I'm kind of like a bull rider right now. Like, you know what I mean? Riding the bull, because I want to hand in, but I can use my base. Okay, you can use your second hand. Is that I'll go under to get him to kind of think I'm going to stop him here. Trap. Then I'll go over the top. Okay? Or maybe I was going over the top, and I was trying to get here, but he's keeping his elbow in. He's smart. He doesn't let me. I'm like, okay, I got something else for him. I'm going to go under. Make, boom. Trap. Okay? Once we get here, the knee slides back, head down, and we choke again. First hand again, boom, right, I grab. And before, he was defending with this hand, right? So I was going to get my second hand, he was either going here, I was going under, right? We're talking about a couple different ways. Sometimes as you come across, he'll block with his near arm, right? Maybe at the bicep or kind of start, yeah. He's trapping your arm and not letting you get here, okay? And he's kind of riding you, being smart with his frame, okay? Kind of um, like we do when we get to our punch block uh, series and we control the arms. The guy's just kind of staying sticky, which is going to kind of stop you from being able to get to his neck, obviously. We can take advantage of this, okay? So as mm -hmm. I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of start bringing my arm around, mm -hmm. like I'm going over his head or around his head to get his elbow up. As I do that, my leg is going to trail, okay? So if you guys, just real quick, so turn this way. Arms in, I go to choke, he's blocking the arm. So when you guys are blocking for your partner, defend right at the crook of the arm, right at the bicep. That's what's gonna deter or stop. I slide my knee forward here, okay? Once this knee is in, I keep the, the, the choke, all right? And now I'm gonna go to our S mount like we've done before in the past, all right? So as he blocks, knee comes up. This leg is gonna do two things, okay? My leg's gonna go out and around, all right? So instead of going here, then this way, I was here and I'm gonna go out and around while still sitting on my partner. But instead of my, uh, my glutes sitting on him, my thighs are gonna be sitting on him now. My knee is up to kind of trap his arm, okay? He still has to, in some res regards, respect the choke, all right? Because if he doesn't, he just worries about his arms, I could just go back to the choke, fix my position and finish the choke. But I'm gonna stay here. Now my leg's gonna go around as I lean here. I sit straight down and now we have the arm again. Pinching the knees. Pull the heels to the butt, pinch, feet go down, thumb to the sky, arm lock. Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys a little tidbit. Um, be mindful with your partner when you do it, but if you actually need to use it, of course, you know, go at it full force, is that anytime I go to choke, whether I grab over, under, or loop around, whatever the case may be, when I grab, I'm gonna do a shake first. What normally happens is once I put the first hand in, if this guy's experience, he does this, tucks his chin, right? Then if I went here, I'm not gonna get to crowd arm, I'm just squeezing his chin and tough guy's not gonna um, tap or it's not gonna render him unconscious, right? We have to use it for real. So I'm gonna go here or under, do a quick shake. I pull towards me, boom, shake, get his head out of the way, we finish the choke. So basically anytime I grab the choke, it's a little, a little bit of a shake. It's not this, you're not trying to bang the guy's head on the ground. You see a little bit of that whiplash action so you get to the neck, okay? So where I go here, he goes to block, you know, huh? catch him and I go under, so I go under, quick shake, okay? If I was going under, you know, box, over, trap, quick shake. Every time, even if you have the neck, get into that habit, that way you don't have to kind of decide, you don't have to stop and think for a second, because you get a little bit behind. We go one hand in, okay? Whether you go underneath or over top, right? Once you trap, you're gonna give a little shake. Yeah.